next week on Sport Fishing, we're back aboard the new Huck Fin. We left early this morning out of Emeryville and the weather conditions are really rough outside. So today our Captain Jay has decided to take us inside the bay, go look for some white sea bass, some halibut, maybe even a striper or two. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. All right. <laughs> I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. the tail yet. Okay. And hold them up about right there. There we go. Nice little halibut there. The fishing right now just turned on wide open here. That's the bay bridge over my shoulder. We got four or five going right now, maybe six. I just got bit two moving my Live uh, anchovy around a little bit off the bottom. Oh, yeah, he's right here. <laughs> this is our deckhand Dave, and also a skipper out there with us today. Nice striper. These aren't monster fish, but this is typical striper here in the bay. Nice quality fish. Let's take a little break from the action here aboard the new Hug Fin and go to the and let's go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the gear you need for this type of fishing. This week in the tackle box, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what we're doing today. We're fishing aboard the new Hug Fin and we're fishing inside the bay with Captain Jay. Normally, when we're fishing Captain Jay, we're fishing far offshore. We travel past the Golden Gate Bridge, past, you know, head offshore, get to the Fairlawn Islands, and there we fish for giant lingcod and big rockfish. But because of conditions today with all the strong wind and big seas, we're restricted to stay inside the bay, keep everyone safe, and to bring you a different episode. And it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying being inside the bay and fishing for stripers, halibut, and white sea bass, something I haven't done very often up in the bay but it's a lot of fun to do. So for this type of fishing, you can use some of the same gear you would use for rock fishing, but you can also downsize your tackle a little bit. So some of the basic gear you need is something like this, a conventional reel. I would use 50 pound spectra, and on top of it, 25 pound fluorocarbon. Works out fine. These reels work out nice, or you can also use the brand new lower profile reels like this level ones. Those work out fine too. If you went up to a 400 series, then I would use 65 pound spectra with 25 pound fluorocarbon. Now for these smaller stripers and the halibut even, this works out fine. If you wanna use a spinning reel, you're more comfortable using a spinning reel, then use a spinning reel. But inside the bay, it's not a problem. You're not fishing that deep, 
Most of the spots we're fishing are under 40 feet. Some of the spots are under 25 feet. So a small spinning reel will work out fine. I would use 50 pound spectra on the reel with 25 pound fluorocarbon on top. And again, the spinning reel is fine for this type of fishing. Now we're catching the fish today both on live bait and with artificials. With live bait, you want to use a live bait hook and you never know if you're going to need something as small as a two or up to like a two or three oh, depending on what they have for live bait. Up here in the Bay Area, they often have nice big anchovies like we have today. So for that, we're using both a size two and a size one live bait hook. Now, if you want to go with artificials, I like the B-52 bucktails. And what I would do is make sure that the bucktail you're using has white in it. So either all white like this, even the head could be white, but something has white on it. Red and white, blue and white, they work out great for this type of fishing. And the stripers, they really love them. The halibut like them too. I wouldn't use anything lighter than one ounce, but I would think a one or a two ounce would be perfect for a B-52 bucktail with white in it for fishing up here. And again, you're gonna be bouncing it on the bottom, moving it in the curtain a little bit, the stripers will really attack it, and the halibut love them too. We're catching some white sea bass, and I've caught lots of white sea bass over the years using B-52 bucktails. Well, this is the basic gear you need for this type of fishing. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Go. Oh. Okay, leave him in the water. I am. Let me get the net. Okay. Bring your rod tip over this way. Okay. So on. Okay. Up. 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 And over towards your rod towards me. Up a little more. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's gonna be a oh shoot. It's all right. We're not trying to let him go anyhow. Oh, we are. Yeah. A little bit short. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me put this net back. Angle your rod a little bit away from me. Reel down so. Keep reeling. Okay, we got it. Try to grab that weight, okay? Sport Fishers, Dan Hernandez. We'll be right back. Be close, I think. Yeah. Go ahead, grab the weight. Grab it. It'll be 22 inches. He's not quite there. Sorry, Ken. Short? Yeah. He's about a quarter inch short. Next year. Yeah, actually, probably in about a month. <laughs> Nancy's got a fish going here. Let's see what it is. Oh, nice striper. Jay's not around, but a nice quality fish. Let's take a little break from the action here for the new hook fin and go to the galley and show you how to pick up one of these delicious fish we're catching today. Nice job. Thank All you. Right. This week in the galley, we're in downtown Los Angeles with Roberto. He invited us down to his restaurant 
It's down here really close to USC, down the street from where I went to college, LA Trade Tech. And uh, Hiberto, can you explain a little bit about your restaurant, the name of it? Yeah, so Holbox is actually, the name comes from an island in Mexico, very close to my hometown of Merida. And I grew up going to the island and that's why I love the name. Cool, and what do you have in store for us today? So we've got a beautiful rockfish, local rockfish. Red snapper. Uh, yeah, also also called red snapper, yeah. Pacific red snapper. Yeah, vermilion, like vermilion, you said. Vermilion, yeah. And um, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna butterfly cut this fish and we're gonna put it on the grill. So we're gonna do, uh, it's a dish that we call pescado al carbón, which just means fish on the charcoal. And um, this, this, this dish has, there's a lot of variations of this dish throughout Mexico. Uh, some places call it sarandeado, which would be northern Mexico, like, you know, Sinaloa and Sonora. And then there's, uh, in the south of Mexico, we call it tiquin chic. So we're actually going to do a combination of sarandeado and tiquin chic. Uh, we're gonna marinate one half of the fish with the classic achiote and sour orange rub of our Yucatecan tiquin chic. And then the other half is gonna be marinated with a salsa verde. It's gonna be a acidic serrano uh, basil flavored marinade. So red on one side and then green on the other side. Cool. So what we're doing here is we're doing a little pocket cut on the fish. We wanna separate the spine uh, while keeping the, the rest of the fish intact. So we're just taking the spine out here. So this side has been seasoned. Let's flip it over. Let's season the, uh, the skin side. Before we do that, we're gonna apply a little bit of oil to it. So this is just olive oil that we- Keep it from sticking. Yeah, keep it from sticking. This olive oil has been uh, infused with uh, garlic, rosemary, and some, some other herbs. Uh, just gives it an extra layer of flavor, but more importantly, a good brush of olive oil or canola oil or any kind of vegetable oil to keep it from sticking when you're cooking it. Mm. All right. Season. When you're seasoning, season from above so the salt spreads out evenly. All right, that's good. We're gonna flip them over and we're going to season. All right, and then here we go. We're gonna go with the red. So this is the Yucatan style achiote sour orange juice marinade. Uh, very traditional in Yucatan food. Uh, bright red color comes from a seed called anato seed. This anato seed is ground up and then there's a little bit of oregano, cumin, allspice, black pepper. And then the liquid we use for that is sour orange or uh, Seville orange. All right, and then for the green one here, this is serrano, cilantro, um, some oil, lime juice, and uh, basil. So off to the grill right here. Okay. This looks amazing, Roberto. Thank you, Dan. Wanna, wanna bite? Yes, I need <laughs> to take a little bite of this. Oh man, look at that juice. It's falling apart. Yeah, it's of course, great, great I gotta thing. try the red side because it's gonna be the hotter side. It's a great thing about cooking fish on the bone. You get to keep all that moisture and all that juice in. I've never seen fish butterfly like this before. We cut out the bone and everything. Mm -hmm. That's really unique, that's great. And like you said, this could be a great centerpiece that everybody can enjoy and eat too. Absolutely, you serve this and then some nice side dishes around it. Yeah. You got yourself a pescatarian Thanksgiving. And this is a feed family of four easily. Absolutely. Maybe six, and I mean, that's a, a lot of fish. This is a fish that is very, very abundant in the waters here in Southern California. It's underappreciated and it's delicious. We should be eating a lot more rockfish. Yeah, what's neat about rockfish, it absorbs any marinade, any flavors you give it, that white fish. And this is just another unique way. I've never seen it done. And I should have had it in Mexico and I've been down there. Yeah, well, but there this is go. different, really cool. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Gilberto. And the name of your restaurant again? Holbosch. Holbosch. And we're here in downtown Los Angeles. For more information, visit his Facebook page. And uh, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs>
No, it's a really pissed off halibut. Okay. Yeah, I came off yours. Oh. Got D hook there. Oh, it did? Yeah. Watch out. It's right here. Oh. Yeah, all those lines pulling on it, it got them kind of squirrely. Dan Hernandez, sport fishing. Sport fishing with Dan Hernandez. Uh, yeah. 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 Make sure you keep a good bait on. They're still stuck under the boat. Hit the bottom. Just off the bottom. Here's a little nice one right there. Fishing with Danny in San Francisco. You guys got to come on down. Great trip. Riper, San Francisco Bay. Oh. What do you think it is, Dave? Uh, I don't over? know. It could be a bat ray. We did just get a white sea bass, so it could be a. Kind of hoping it's one of those. We'll see. Make sure you Step breathe. This is the fun part. Put your hand in front of the reel. Not don't touch the spool. Yeah, if you put your hand up here, a little. Ahead of it, you'll have better leverage. Uh oh, oh. taking line. Oh. It takes line, let it run. Lift the rod up and wind on the way down. Lift the rod up, wind on the way down. Don't wind the whole time, just lift the rod up. And when you lower the rod, turn the handle. Down. Right there. Lift the rod up. Lower it a little and then crank. There you go. Oh, it is? Can I, can I keep him? No, we're gonna pull it up here. Oh, he fell like this. Okay, now let's go. Fishing out of Emeryville on the new hook fin. There's the striper. Not sure if he's quite legal, we'll measure him out. There, Jay. Jack <laughs> <laughs> Pretend I'm tuna fishing. All right. We're having a great time here aboard the New Hook Pen. This is the owner-operator, Skipper Jay. He's got us on a spot here. 
and the spot seems really small. I mean, the fish seem like a really tight area. Yeah, it's just a, a, a rock outcropping right here. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and the fish are stacked up on it. Like we're getting halibut, we're getting stripers, and uh, earlier today we even caught a couple of white sea bass. So it's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action here aboard the new Huck Fin, and when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. Thank you, sir. Fish on. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about how we caught the fish today. And today was all about live bait fishing. It was all about getting a really good, lively anchovy. And you'd fish that right on the bottom. And we used a three-way swivel rig. So that way you have a sinker on the bottom, a long leader, about two-foot leader. And some guys are using three-foot leaders. Large hook, like a one-aught live bait hook. And that's how we caught all the fish. We caught the stripers. We caught the white sea bass and uh, even those halibut too. That's the same rig, just bouncing that, that weight right on the bottom, keeping contact with the bottom, and the stripers are swimming down there, the halibut and that sea bass too. It was a lot of fun. Well, I want to ca thank Captain Jay and uh, Dave. They did a great job getting us on the fish, and we had lots of fun fishing with them. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.